Hello, I'm David. Welcome to this behind the render quick tip. In Blender, I'm going to show you how to make this cube item look like a sort of vaporwave tron style. So to begin, we're going to go to the modifier tab and we're going to add the subdivision modifier. You can also model something with more intricate detail, but this will do the trick to show you the concept. Then we're going to add the wireframe modifier and we're going to change the replace original to off because we want this underlying. If you want just the wireframe, you can use that as well. Going up into the materials, we're going to change this one, the base color, to a black. That way we get a nice contrast. And then additionally, we're also going to be using the EV engine and we're going to want to turn on bloom. Back in materials, we'll add a secondary material. In this one, we're going to change the principled to an emission shader. And then from here, you can change it to your desired color. And I recommend setting the strength at about 25 or more. Then we'll go into the look dev. Back into our modifier. And this material offset we're going to change that because zero is set to the black. So the wireframe is currently using that black shader. If we toggle over to the next one, that will utilize that pink emission shader that we set up. And you can go into the node editor and make a more advanced setup for your emission. But this is the basic concept. You're utilizing the wireframe. Now there are a couple settings in here for the thickness. Even the thickness is relative thickness boundary and you can play around with these the offsets gonna change if it's sitting above the geometry level with the geometry or inside of the geometry so you can see it, it really has that 3d element to it now one thing to consider is that this does take a decent amount of processing to do if you're going to render this in cycles so you'll probably want to switch to something a little bit more light on your system because this is utilizing these modifiers in EV it's not too bad if I do render image it's very quick so if it's inside of EV this isn't a problem it's if you're working with cycles that you'll want to potentially consider something else because if I change this render to cycles and then I hit render it's processing So it's about seven seconds to render the same thing inside of cycles. So something to consider. But that's the general concept of how to get the Vaporwave or Tron look inside of Blender. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more content, give the video a like, and comment below with questions you have on the VFX discussed in this video or any content you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching.